The hydra reproduces by growing a young hydra from its side. The new hydra will separate from its parent and continue to live on its own. It will be an almost exact copy of its parent. Hey, it's me, Destin, and welcome back to Smarter Every Day. If you've ever been stung by a jellyfish, you know that it's awful. Let me show you. <coughs> so there's two ways that an animal can harm a human chemically, right? The first one is poison. We know what that is. Like, if I were to eat this jellyfish and it was poisonous and I were to get sick, it's because it is a poisonous animal, right? Now, venom is different. Venom is injected into your body. So it's kind of like these hypodermic needles. If you fill them up with venom and then you were to take that and inject that into your arm, that would be a venomous way of causing pain to your body, right? So wouldn't it be crazy if there was like hypodermic needles built into their tentacles and they could just stab you with them as soon as they rubbed up against you? Because that's exactly what happens. Jellyfish tentacles have organelles in them called nematocysts. They're like little hypodermic needles. And when you're swimming and those hypodermic needles brush up against your body, they stab into you and inject venom. It's insane. People have never seen these because they're so small you have to have a microscope and they're so fast that you have to use a high-speed camera. So now that we've rounded these two things up, where do we find our jellyfish? Check it out. I'm at James Cook University in Australia in Cairns and here's the deal. I've got the doctor here that's the world expert in animal venom. It's pretty cool. Let's go check it out. His name is Dr. Jamie Seymour. So we have a, a high-speed camera here and we're running HD SDI video out and then Richard is recording it real time, and then Dr. Seymour here is gonna to try to trigger a nematocyst, correct? Correct. And then once you trigger it, we're gonna to try to catch it on high speed. Yep. Exactly sure what causes the nematocyst to fire, but what we do know is if we touch two leads from a nine volt battery to the tentacle itself, we can get some of them to randomly fire, which allows us to record it with a phantom high speed camera. Trigger, it goes. trigger, trigger, trigger. If you simulate even a severed strand of tentacle with an electric pulse, the stinging capsules react. Known as an amatocyst, the stinging capsule is unique to jellyfish. It's a complicated mechanism and the fastest in the animal kingdom. Each tentacle contains billions of these harpoon-like structures. The process underlying their deadly firepower 
is revealed now for the first time using computer animation. Inside each of these nematocysts, a coiled tube bathed in venom. When triggered, the nematocyst explodes into the victim at 10,000 times the force of gravity. Like a sock being pulled inside out, the tube averts, releasing venom from all sides of the harpoon directly into the bloodstream. <laughs> 